Hi CDD team, this is Travis. I want to show you a little bit about the back end of Brightcove. This is a lot better environment for uploading videos and updating tags and making sure your captions are going to go through in a timely manner. This environment is uh, managed by Adam at Berkeley and in this tutorial I want to show you how to log into the system, how to upload your videos, how to tag videos correctly, and how to search videos by tags. All right, the first thing that you're going to want to do is email Adam requesting access to Brightcove. It's a, uh, and then Adam will give you, it send, will send you an email with an invite telling you to change your password and it'll bring you to this page. And you're going to log in with your login information. In my case, it's Travis.ly at Okay, so once you log in, you're going to be taken to this landing page. It's, um, it's called Video Cloud, but it's a, the Bright Cove environment. And it is a brief tutorial, but I'm going to show you basically what you need to do from an instructional design point of view. And that's mainly in this tab, which is Media. Go ahead and click Media. It'll take you to the Media uh, All Videos page. You can see all the videos that's ever been uploaded into Brightcove, which is roughly, uh, I guess it's exactly 1,357 videos. For our, for our purposes, we want to use uh, this Add Video button and the standard upload. The accelerated upload will allow you to uh, upload a little bit quicker, but it requires a third-party plugin. I've downloaded it, but I haven't really used it yet. I ended up using the standard upload yesterday to upload 1,200 minutes of video, and it took less than half an hour to upload all of that. So I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and use the standard unless you have huge amounts of video. My videos were compressed, but it's, it was still well over 10 gigs worth. Okay, so go ahead and click standard upload. It's going to have you navigate through your uh, computer to find the correct videos. In my case, they're over here, physics videos, and I have them all organized. You can do a batch upload, which is great, and go ahead and uh, select any number of videos that you want. I'm going to do 12.1 uh, through 14.4 in this physics class at Irvine and go ahead and click open and this is a very important step you want to make sure that you uh, tag all of them or you can just tag them like this and what you want to do is add the tag over here what you're going to need is a team the team tag which is going to be the name of your course um, the institution name and whether or not it needs captioning. Most likely you are going to need captioning. Uh, captioning. So okay, the team tag in this case, I'm going to name it PSY, PS, PSY6. PSY7. That's just be the tag, so you have to remember that. And you're going to need to send, get that information to Adam um, when you're done uploading and letting let him know that Anything tagged PSY needs captioning. Adam needs to know this so he can send that information over to Koji and uh, Amara. Okay, so PSY7, that's going to be my, what's called my team tag. That's necessary. You need to put your institution for the videos, which in my case would be UC Irvine, UCI. The caption, whether or not it needs caption. So you just go ahead and uh, type caption there because in this case it does need captioning. and it, you could also put any number of tags. In my case, I want to put Travis in, uh, Travis in there because uh, I want all my videos tagged where I could do a search later on for Travis and it'll pull up all of my videos. That's in case I forget what my team tag is. All right. And uh, you can put anything else you want in there. Uh, science. So you know it's a science class. Okay. Once you have all the tags, remember, team tag, institution and caption those are necessary the rest you could go ahead and put anything else you want in there remember to check those boxes and if you forget to check you can always tag the videos later I'll show you how to do that go ahead and click upload you can see this is pretty fast it's a, well there are 35 megabyte videos they've been compressed so I'm going to cancel this cancel 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 because I've uploaded all of my videos already but you'll be able to um, see the upload and it just takes a moment all right, the next thing I want to show you is how to search for videos once they're done. So you go to all videos. You can just search here 
or you could use the basic search. I like to use the advanced search because you could really filter out based on tag. So what you could do is uh, search for tags and has any or has all and then I'm going to put Travis in there so I could do a search on that. And then it, it'll bring up all the videos with Travis. That's the search functionality and for example you, you forgot to um, put caption on all of your videos. So you can just highlight here and click edit and this is going to do a batch edit of videos. You can add a new tag right here if you uh, for example forgot captioning. Okay so I'm going to cancel that out. All right, so that so in this in this tutorial I showed you how to log in I showed you how to upload videos, I showed you how to tag videos correctly, and I showed you how to search for videos. I believe that's all you really need to know to get started. Let me know if you have any questions, and I think this is going to be a far better environment for uploading videos, and you get a lot more information and a lot more power to make changes quickly in this environment over the Confluence environment. Thank you for your time, and please email me if you have any questions.